Hello and welcome to yet another travel vlog here on Theme Park Worldwide. This is it, it's a big one. It's my most anticipated trip of 2018 and one of our most anticipated trips ever. I've wanted to go here ever since I was a kid and this is it, our Cedar Point travel vlog. I'm so excited to actually get over there for the first time and go and discover this park. And in this vlog, I'm gonna take you along for that journey of actually getting there. Uh, not gonna lie, it is quite a complex park to get to. And so I'll just go through a little bit of uh, an explanation about what I'm going to be doing in this video. So I'm here in the UK at Manchester Airport. I'm about to jump on a flight which is going to take me from Manchester through to Boston uh, over in the USA and that's operated by Thomas Cook Airlines. I'm then going to have about a four hour gap to wait at Boston before changing on to another airline uh, which is going to take me down to Cleveland Hopkins Airport and then from there I've then got to get transport down to the park itself and my on-site hotel. Um, so yeah it's going to be quite an interesting journey journey. Uh, like I say, you can make it a little bit easier and hire a car. However, on this trip, I did want to use public transport and see how that is. Because to be honest, I've not really used much public transport before over in the States. And I know there's not really lots of it about, uh, but I have managed to find a route, uh, which is quite cheap to do, of getting from the airport in Cleveland uh, down to uh, the actual park itself and where the, all the hotels and things are at Cedar Point. So it's going to be a really interesting one. I'm looking forward to sharing the journey with you guys in this travel vlog. So anyway, I've got about an hour until I'm getting on the plane. Gonna get stopped up, get a few bits to get on the plane. And uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna fly over uh, to Boston and I will uh, see you when I get over there to carry on the journey. to the United States of America. So I've just completed stage one of my journey to Cedar Point. I've just flew from Manchester in the UK here to Boston in the US. And yeah, it was a nice easy flight that one. It took around six and a half hours. It was actually advertised to be about seven hours originally. Um, so yeah, it was nice and quick. For the aviation geeks out there, uh, I flew on an Airbus A330. I know there's quite a lot of you that watch the channel, myself included, I do like aviation. But uh, yeah, it was a nice takeoff, good landing, and the cabin crew uh, were great on there as well. I also got chatting to a lot of locals, that's the good thing about these flights. You get chatting to different people on there, it's quite a, a social thing and that's why I really enjoy travelling. Um, See, so yeah, I had a good chat to some people on there, so if you have found the channel, uh, then hi out there to you. It was great to meet you on the plane. But uh, yeah, here I am then in Boston, I thought I'll come outside, because uh, I've got a few hours now until my connecting flight, which is through to Cleveland. Uh, that is with airline JetBlue, and that's just under two hours, I think it's one hour fifty-five. Uh, to be exact, that flight. Uh, that leaves in a few hours, it's quarter past four now, uh, so I've got a little bit of time just to have a little look around the airport, thought I'd come outside, get a bit of fresh air, and uh, there's not really a lot to see around here outside the terminal here, but uh, there's the car park, uh, that's about as exciting as this one gets, guys, and uh, there's the terminal, what I've just come out of just there. I need to make my way round to Terminal C, where my next flight will go, uh, but I've just shown you this in a little montage, but I really like this, the big welcome to Boston uh, sign just up there, you got some fireworks, where it's going off you got like a boat just there as well some nice buildings I like this over in the States they love putting these massive billboards up about where you are I mean you do get it around the world as well but there's just something about the ones here in the States that I really like I did have to come here and take a photo and of course I posted it on social media uh, so if you're not already check out Theme Park Worldwide on Instagram Facebook and also Twitter as well for all the latest updates from this trip and any other future trips that I'm doing here on the channel um, but yeah so I'm gonna fly out next from JetBlue to Cleveland I'm going to arrive there about midnight and then I'm hoping to get on the metro which runs from Cleveland Hopkins Airport down into the center of Cleveland and that's where I'm going to get on the Amtrak which is basically the rail network here in the States. I've never got on a train before in my life here in America except at a theme park uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing that. Like I say you could hire a car from there and I think it's a couple of hours run uh, but with this one I thought let's try the public transport let's 
see how it is and uh, yeah, makes it easy for you guys who don't want to come over here and hire a car uh, and want to see a bit of the local stuff. You know what I'm like, I love seeing local things uh, whilst I'm on the trips. Yes, the theme parks do take the priority, but it's nice to see the local bits and, and things as well. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, with this little journey that I'm going to be making uh, straight through um, from Cleveland down to uh, Sandusky where Cedar Point is. God, there's so much going on in my head right now, so much I need to remember, uh, but I'm getting there. Luckily, I have got it all wrote down in my bag if I need to, uh, but that's no fun, is it? I like to try and remember it all and look at local signs and things. That's all part of the adventure for me. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head back in, have a bit of food, and then I'll get on the plane, which is JetBlue, which is going to take me through uh, to Cleveland Hopkins, and then I'll uh, see you there where I'll continue and uh, jump on some local transport. So after about 1 hour 50 minutes, I've arrived here in Cleveland, Ohio. Uh, yeah, nice easy flight that was on JetBlue. Again, good airline. It was quite a small aircraft, that one. In fact, there was only actually two seats on each side of the row uh, on that one. It wasn't even like three seats. Uh, so yeah, it was quite a small aircraft. But uh, yeah, it was a nice easy journey, that one. So, like I say, it took about 1 hour 50 minutes. And I've come straight down uh, here into Cleveland. We didn't even need to have our passports checked with it being an internal flight. Uh, we literally just came straight off the plane uh, to the baggage carousels and then I walked straight here uh, to the train station. Uh, now this does, I believe, run all night. It's a bit of a limited service though, so if you are planning to do this route, uh, then like I say, make sure you do check out the RTA website here in Ohio so you can see this in action and see what times they do run. But uh, yeah, I've just purchased a ticket. It was $2.50 uh, for a single ticket and I believe this is going to be about a 40 minute journey which is going to take me right into the centre of Cleveland. Uh, when I get into the centre of Cleveland, I then got a walk about 15 20 minutes uh, to get to the Amtrak train station, which is where I'm going to get the train from there down to Sandusky. But uh, yeah, like I say, it is quite a complex trip this one. It's certainly not one that I recommend going straight in with uh, if you've not had a bit of experience doing some other trips. Maybe try doing a bit of Europe first and some of the easier parks to do, like Lisieburg, uh, before you try something on this scale. Because you're a long way away from home, aren't you, over here in the States? But uh, yeah, obviously everyone's really friendly. If you do need to ask anyone, at least there's no language barrier uh, when you do come to America. Uh, so literally, I've come straight into the terminal, followed the signs uh, for the train here into downtown. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm just waiting now. I've purchased my ticket at the machines, which were literally just down there. And uh, yeah, walked up straight here onto the platform. I'm loving these uh, tiles that we've got down here in the floor as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to get on the train down into downtown and I'll uh, show you a bit more footage when I get down there. me about 15 minutes to walk from the station that brought me in from the airport on the red line uh, into downtown and then I've just followed the road you can see a little map there on your screen uh, that I've just seen on the road there's quite a few different maps about to follow and you've got the Amtrak signage however it does get a bit confusing uh, when you get to the corner by the stadium you want to turn right cross over the road and then you'll end up just down here uh, at the Amtrak station car park and there's the car park just behind me with the station just off in the distance so I'm gonna make my way down there. Uh, now I believe Amtrak uh, from this station only runs during an evening. I'm not too sure how it works. Maybe some of my friends who watch the channel from the United States of America will be able to shed a bit of light on that. But uh, from looking at the times just here and from looking at times on the website of this train, it does only run at night. It's not like the services every half hour or so. Uh, this does uh, only run once on a night or it does at the moment anyway as of May 2018. Like I say, it took 15 minutes to walk here but if there is a group of you, I definitely recommend getting a taxi, to be honest. Might be a little bit easier. And, uh, and there it is behind. <laughs> and yeah, it'll drop you off 
right down here to save doing that walk because it's quite easy if you're on your own but if you've got a family or there's a few of you it'd be worth to split in the taxi cost for that um, but yeah I'm gonna head into the Amtrak station I've got about 45 minutes until I get on this and uh, yeah I'll share a bit more information when I get into the station and on the train So after over 24 hours of travelling, I've finally made it here to my end destination, the Cedar Point Express Hotel. Uh, but more about that in just a second. Uh, firstly, obviously I got on the Amtrak and everyone was asleep on there because that train was continuing all the way down to Chicago. Uh, so I didn't want to speak on there really, I didn't want to wake everybody up, I thought it'd be quite rude. Um, so I just sort of sat there, got a few little shots of the train. But uh, yeah, it looked like the views would have been really nice in the daytime, couldn't really see a lot uh, on there in terms of it night but uh, the best part was just as we were coming in to Sandusky station uh, which is where I just got off uh, you could see Cedar Point over in the distance and you could see like a green strip light uh, up there as well which I think is on the lift hill for Raptor but uh, yeah I also saw like the flashing lights on Dragster uh, the spotlights weren't on but you could see like where the height beacons are on there uh, very excited to get into the park in just a few hours time so I'm gonna get some rest uh, in terms of the room this is really nice around here yeah you got two massive double beds I mean I can swap each night and uh, you've got some pictures up there talking of Raptor there it is you've got uh, Millennium Force over there can't wait to get on and uh, just here on this side you've just seen at the start there as well uh, the dive machine called Valraven but uh, yeah the Amtrak was really nice and easy to get and from there to get here to the hotel no matter where you're staying obviously I'm in the Express Hotel it's not located on the actual Cedar Point Peninsula itself it's just at this side so from here to get to the park uh, you can either get like a taxi uh, or an Uber to get up there because it's literally about a mile and a half uh, over there. You can't, there isn't like a, a, a walkway where it takes you up to the park. But uh, if you are getting up there onto actual Cedar Point as well, if you do come and stay here, there is Uber in the area. And that's just what I did. I literally uh, came off the Amtrak and uh, got straight on the Uber app, even though it's a ridiculous time in the morning. And uh, yeah, I managed to get an Uber straight here. And uh, that cost me $8. And it took literally about five minutes to get here from the Amtrak station. Uh, there's no like ground transportation from there from what I could see uh, there was a few taxis parts up there if you didn't want to use uber but that obviously is a, a cheaper option and you know how much you pay in there it's a fair deal but uh, anyway I'm really tired so I'm gonna get some sleep ready for in the morning and stay tuned for our Cedar Point day one vlog here on theme park worldwide I'm gonna be doing three uh, vlogs from the park itself along with some other special videos as well uh, so make sure you stay tuned I'll see you in just a few hours over on the peninsula for my first ever visit to Cedar Point here in Sandusky, Ohio. I am so excited. And uh, I hope this little travel video has sort of helped if you do want to do this journey. It's not the easiest one to do, but if you've got any questions, as always, comment down below. Also, before I wrap it up, just want to say there's lots of different options of doing this. You don't have to uh, you know, get the Amtrak, you can hire a car. Obviously, you don't have to fly uh, in, into Boston. You can go via Iceland and loads of different routes. There's so many different ways, but I did it this way because that's what worked out uh, the cheapest for me at the time. But uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the morning. And uh, yeah, from the Cedar Point Express Hotel, still seems strange saying it, that means it's time to cue those credits. See you soon, guys.